Well, every goal is important, Elliot. Just how important was that one today? Um, yeah, that was really important, considering it's been um, my first goal for like two months now, and I'm really happy to score it today and get the win in the end. Great run down the right by Josh, wasn't it? And then the ball fizzed across to you. And your first touch was the important thing in that, wasn't it? Because it got in front of you. Yeah, yeah. I had to turn and then I had to shoot. But when Josh is running, you know he's not stopping Josh. So you have to just be ready in the box. And he put a good ball in. And luckily today I scored. In fairness to you, I don't know you've had too many clear chances actually to score, have you? You talked about you know, September it was your, your last goal, but not too many have dropped you away, have they? No, not really. It's more about just doing the hard work with the team and cre like creating chances for everyone else and trying to get chances for myself. But today, with Charlie up front, the way he does is brilliant. So I'm happy he's playing with me up front and we both get chances. And like last week, last week on Tuesday he scored and today I scored, so I'm just happy. Does that mean you can change your position just a little bit with Charlie? Because he's, he's, he starts sort of in the middle, but then he'll pull players wide, won't he? Yeah, because when Charlie's up front with it, he runs players. He'll run, create space for the centre half. I don't want to chase him. So if he's running in behind, load space for me to get the ball. Or if I run, Charlie will get the ball. And then when someone puts it across in the box, there's two in there then. So someone's got bound to score there. Your goal's got the three points, but it was a great team effort today when you've had to dig in, you have had to. The defence was absolutely magnificent as well, weren't they? Yeah, Clark and Tom were brilliant, and Ross and Goal, some of the safety done today were brilliant. Um, probably one of the match as well, Ross. Um, but even though the, every one of the lads, it was so hard out there today, considering second half with um, against the, all their fans there, but made up we got the win, yeah. Having said that, I mean, you know, Josh had a free kick at the post before you scored, you know, a couple of chances in the second half as well. So you did create opportunities because you, you could have had more goals. Yeah, even the one second half where he's one of one the keeper, we had we had chances. But today, even away, it's probably one of the best we've looked, really. And Exeter are a good side, so hopefully we can just continue to do this. You mentioned how you've enjoyed playing alongside Charlie the last couple of games. How hard did you find it in those early stages of the season? I mean, you know, you, you've come a long way, haven't you, yeah. in, in 12 months, Elliot? I mean, how hard have you found it? Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard. Um, the tw first like 10 games I was involved, I was a bit new, and then the gaffer took me off the team for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. got fit, started doing extra myself, and now I've come back and I feel so much better. And especially with Charlie up there, it just feels like it worked well. You had that good run, didn't you, in the side, and, and the side did pretty well as well. And then the results just went off a little bit, but now you bang on. I mean, that's you know three league wins in a row now. You're, you're really pushing here. Yeah, because I just think the first ten I was still learning really, and then spoke to the gaffer, took me out, um, refreshed my brain, just like took pressure off me, and then come back working hard, and I'm ready to go now again. Did you have a, a target this season? Was it just to get in the side or did you have a number of goals in your mind? No, I didn't even think about the side. I just come in, enjoy, work hard and just try and like pl play games, even if it was like the cup games or but now I've come in and I'm playing league games and I don't want to start playing league games. And the boss always talks about winning games in different ways. I mean it was last minute at old and in midweek, you know, yeah. today you've had to defend, you know, hard and, and make sure you get the three points. You can get satisfaction in lots of different ways, can't you? Yeah, even scoring today we we knew a second half come out, they're going to just throw it for at us. So all we knew was just defend, don't concede, and we win the game. And I think the whole team defended brilliant. And I, could just, I don't think we, we could have stayed there, and I don't think they would have scored. And see how important the substitutes are as well, you know, to make sure, you know, when there's tired legs or you need to change yeah. the formation a bit, you look at the bench and you've got some really quality players there yeah, too. Yeah, I think that bench is brilliant. They're people I grew up looking at. Like, do you know what I mean? We've got players on the bench, and I'm like, wow, and I'm playing, so I'm just made up. And you just look to the next game now, it's going to be a home game of course, you've been on the, the road for quite a bit over the last week or so. Yeah, these, these away games take a toll on people, now we're at home in front of our fans and hopefully we can get a win for them now. And of course a lot of them have made the long journey here today as well and you can see how much that meant to, to them too. Yeah, they were quality again, singing me, singing me name <laughs> and I was just so happy for, to score today for them really. Have you surprised, uh, been surprised how, how they've taken to you and, and got the chance of your name? Yeah, <laughs> from the olden game, I'm just like, it's like surreal really, coming in and they show me so much like respect and all that and it's like, I'm just so happy to play in front of them and hopefully we can just do more. And you're going to enjoy this long journey home now tonight, aren't you? Yeah, imagine <laughs> going back with the loss, so just happy we won, so. Well done today. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. Service. Ultimately, you scored the goal that won the three points, but how important is it on the defensive side for you as well? Because at one point in the first half, you saw their full-back right out for a goal kick. Yeah. How important is it for you to help out at the back as well? Yeah, it's just as, just as important, isn't it? Um, I go back every set piece, really, because I'm one of the tallest, so 
And then when I'm in there, I listen to Clarky and Tom and they tell me what to do and then on that, on that case, Tom was like, don't leave, so I stayed and we're seeing them out, so it's sort of thanks to Tom as well, because listening to the experience players. So what kind of influence can even the defenders at the back have when you're playing up front? Um, so just because they know what strikers hate them. So when they tell you to do this, they know they wouldn't want to play against something like that. So if they're telling me to do that, and I do it, and it works, don't stop then, do you? Yeah, and then, um, if you offered any fan two wins out of three in, of the three away games, they would have taken it, and is that the same in the dressing room? Yeah, all the lads are buzzing. Coming here, five hours away, um, Saturday night, raining. What more would you want then? Three points and a 1-0.